Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to go sightseeing first with the Elbe Steamboat, then we take the suspension railway, and lastly the bus hop on hop off. This is the boat that we're going to take. Right now, we are queuing, waiting to board. On board, they are serving drinks and light food. Now we are cruising along the Elbe River. Shortly, we are going to pass by the Elbe castles. These are actually three castles on a slope above the Elbe River. This castle Albrechtberg was commissioned by Prince Albrecht of Prussia in 1850. Until 1854, this resembled a Roman residence in Renaissance style. It was bought by the city of Dresden in 1925, and this is now used as a venue for events and congresses. According to history, Lehner Castle or Stockhausen Palais was built for Chamberlain Baron Stockhausen by Prince Albrecht. Due to marrying outside of his social class, Stockhausen needed a new residence outside of Prussia. This castle was built on a vineyard between the year 1850 and 1853. Then Carl August Lingner an entrepreneur from Dresden, bought the castle in the year 1906 and had it completely decorated. This is the Eckbert Castle, which was built uh, between 1859 and 1861. This is now a luxurious hotel. We are now approaching the Blue Wonder Bridge where we have to get down to get to the Dresden Railways. This Blue Wonder Bridge was built in year 1891 and 1893 to connect the two districts, Loswich and Blasewitz. At that time, this was considered as a technical wonder. And why it's named as Blue Wonder, it's because of its light blue paint. 
we are in the corner plots which is the starting point of the two cable railways the aerial railway and the funicular railway there are actually two hillside railways one is the stanzailban it's a track running cable railway and the other one is the swebiban which is a cable run suspension railway which we have decided to take and here is the station of the suspension railway We are now at the upper station of the suspension railway. Here we could see restaurants offering uh, drinks and light food. And this is the view that we are enjoying from the viewing tower. For the technology enthusiasts, they have a small exhibition uh, featuring the technical facts and history about the railways. Kumante, 
We are now driving back down to the lower station. Then we will head to the town to catch up the bus for the hop on hop off sightseeing tour. Now we are back to the city center, actually in Neumark, to have our well-deserved lunch. This is the second day of our sightseeing tour. Basically, we just picked two uh, locations where we want to go down and uh, spend time a little bit. So first is the Albrechtberg Castle, and then later on the Fun's Dairy Shop, the beautiful milk shop in Dresden. <laughs> So this is the front side or the facade of the castle.
And this is now the other side of the castle as we have seen from the ship. Since this is used only for events, there is no restaurant around. I wish there was one so we could sit down, enjoy the coffee, and enjoy this view, beautiful view of the Dresden Meadows. We are heading out of the castle and up to the next location, the Fans Molkerai. This was founded in year 1880, the most beautiful dairy shop in the world. This offers a wide variety of cheese specialties and regional products. Around us here is actually 247.9 square meters of hand-painted tiles by Villeroy and Bock. This tells the story of the Fun Brothers. While enjoying these beautiful motifs around us, we could enjoy a glass of fresh milk, buttermilk, a cheese of flutter, or other delicacies that they offer. Here ends our sightseeing tour, guys. I hope you enjoy watching my video. Watch out for my upcoming video again from Dresden. Something exciting, something unique, and something different. Thank you guys for watching and for your support. I really appreciate it. Until then, 